Would you like to introduce your name, course, and your hometown? So my name's Evangelino Dowd. I did Law and American Studies combined with the LPC and LLM, and I am from Kerry, Ireland, but currently residing in Swansea. You came from Ireland, which makes you an EU student. Right. You, as previous to our conversation, you said you've never been to the UK before. Well, I've never been to Wales before. Wales before, sorry. So if we compare Ireland to Wales, starting off first with the feel and environment. Okay. Um, again, I came from a rural background. So um, generally they say that Irish people are one of the friendliest in the world. So that was something that I was looking for in terms of when I moved to a city um, or a town. And the people are very similar. Irish and Welsh are extremely similar. They're very approachable, very chatty, very friendly. You know, if you're lost, I have many a times asked a stranger for directions and they've had no problem helping me. Um, so that was something that was really similar. And in terms of environment, again, really similar. Um, I lived on a, well, really like five minute walk from a beach in my hometown. Also, Swansea University is on the beach. So again, that was something that I looked for. I think, yeah, that was, and I think making your hometown as similar to your uni really helped me. It may not work for everyone. People may want polar opposites, but finding small things like that can really help you settle in a lot quicker, especially as an international student, because it doesn't almost feel like you're too far away from home. What do you say the biggest differences were studying in Wales? Um, so I was educated through the Irish language. Um, I wasn't educated through English. So when I went to Wales, um, obviously my course was through English. So I had to almost retrain my brain into thinking in English again and being able to write full pieces, like full academic pieces in English. So that was quite hard to adjust to. Um, because I was like getting my English words, you know, kind of mixed up. Mm. And it wasn't flowing naturally. So that was my biggest, I want to say, challenge coming over. Um, another difference would be in terms of just general university experience, um, you know, adjusting from school. Um, in Ireland, I went to a boarding school. Um, I went with into a, well, I, I came from a board, uh, a girls boarding school. And then to suddenly, it was a really disciplined environment. Um, you know, we weren't allowed our mobile phones only for a half an hour a day. And it was then transitioning. Freedom. Into, right. And it was maintaining that self-discipline. But you, like, I was in a foreign country, so I could basically do whatever I wanted because I didn't have my parents there telling me yes, no, or maybe so. So it's um, really making sure that you are self-disciplined in your time to commit to your studies and also not falling into that uni culture, um, you know, of like excessive drinking, you know, all that that comes with it. So um, knowing who you are before you move over, I think. What was the biggest shock coming to Wales and studying? The biggest shock? Um, public transport as funny as it sounds again i came from a place where we have one bus a week um on a friday and i had no idea how to use buses so and i know a lot of irish people will be like that as well because we're not really used to buses as such unless you're in you know big cities like dublin cork places like that but coming from my place it was i found buses really intimidating and that was a big big shock to me um because i had to relearn all the systems and you know do all that so that was my biggest shock was using public transport when you say relearn the systems can you expand on what you mean so i kind of had experience from public transport when I went to like visit cities and stuff but that was from like way back in my childhood I used to dance a lot so that was way way back in my childhood so I had to relearn how to use buses in terms of like you know stops learning where I was and pretty standard things. In Wales when you met Wales, Wales students you said they were similar to Irish students what about the other students from different parts of the country did you find that you could easily talk to them, easily get along with them? Or do you think there was a barrier because of you being an EU student? I think 
I think everyone treated me the same, um, purely because they were enticed by my accent. Uh, they all wanted to know where I came from. And a lot of people sound, say I sound British, but a lot of people say I sound Irish as well. So I have a bit of a mix because my mum spent a lot of time in the UK. Um, but it was a different accent, let's just say, from everyone. So they all wanted to know like where I came from, why I was here, and that really made the conversation flow. So it didn't really matter what part of the country they came from. They all treated me the same. When you look at Wales as a whole, if you had to say one thing that Wales always wins at over Ireland, what would you say it is? Wales always wins at? Um, so one thing that's just, Ireland can, cause it's just, this is in Wales, this is just a no brainer. Ireland can't compete with this. Wine Street, the place where all the pubs and the bars are. Um, because in Ireland, you have to get taxis everywhere. And it's like, you could spend a hundred euro getting taxis from X, Y, and Z, whereas everything's on the one strip in Wales. So you don't have to spend all that money jumping from place to place to place. You can just walk. And for Ireland, the one thing that hands down Ireland has it over Wales, no matter what. Um, peace and serenity, I think. Um, because when I go home, I always go home for a break. Um, and it's, you know, it's my hometown. It's somewhere that I grew up and it's got a lot of memories. And although I've created memories in, in Wales, um, I'm never going to replace those memories that I made as a child. So when I go home, I just like to calm and, you know, turn off my phone, be with my family. And obviously my family aren't in Wales, they're in Ireland. So that will always win hands down. Okay. So... What, where can students who are interested in law slash studying in Wales find you? So they can find me through my blog, which is legallyevangeline.com. They can find me on my Instagram, which is legallyevangeline again, or they can reach out to me on LinkedIn, which is Evangeline O'Dowd. Perfect.